Today we're going to turn every single planet into a star, along with a bunch of other things that you guys suggested. If you'd like to leave a suggestion, put it down in the comments below or join the Discord server. Hello everybody, my name's Calvin, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. We got a suggestion to turn every planet into a star. Um, so I was thinking about how to do this and I think the best way is going to be to do a new simulation and start by putting the sun in and we're going to need to make the sun a lot bigger because if we don't make it big enough, the sun will be pulled by the planets because we're going to have to make the planets bigger so let's just take the sun and make it like a lot bigger like as big as we can really i mean i don't know how big we can make it yeah that'll that'll probably work Thirty thousand suns inside of this sun and let's start with mercury so let's pull up mercury oh here's the old sun for comparison sun to new sun mercury here we'll put it about right here and we need to turn mercury into a star so i think it should be pretty easy all we should really need to do is just make it big enough right I think so because if you make it big enough it'll turn into a gas giant and then from there it'll turn into a star yes okay mercury is now a star orbiting the sun so let's do venus now and since venus is like really hot let's make venus a really hot star so once again we're just gonna make it big enough to become a star and okay it's now technically a star and then we're gonna go to temperature and just like make it really hot that's like it super 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 hot i don't even know how hot that is uh over a million degrees kelvin so there's venus now mercury and venus venus is a super hot star then we're gonna do earth okay so for earth we'll put it oh i guess we're putting it here immediately earth got destroyed <laughs> burned up okay we're gonna try this again we're gonna have to do it while it's paused so let's put earth here because if we unpause it, this star Venus melts anything. Like if we turn on the habitable rings. So here's the sun and here's the sun's habitable ring. And because we made Venus so hot, Venus's habitable ring is all the way out here, which is kind of crazy. So while it's paused, we're going to have to make Earth a uh, star. You can see how bright it is too. Whoa. So let's make it really big. It'll turn into a gas giant. And then again, it'll turn into a star. Um, let's make it a green star. Whoa, oh, I accidentally did that. I guess it has um, whatever that is now, like an accretion disk type thing. Because Earth's the best. Let's make Earth a green star, which is not realistic, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, it, we want it to be a little bit hotter so we can actually like see on it. There we go. Okay, Earth. Earth, <laughs> Earth is a star. looks like that. Okay, now for Mars, we need Mars to be a red star. So let's take Mars. And if we just play it, oh yeah, see if we just play for one little bit, it completely melts this, the face of it because of Venus melting everything. Okay, now Mars is a star and we're going to want it to be hot. Red, oh look at that, that's like a beautiful red color for Mars. Okay, Jupiter now, we'll put Jupiter out here. Jupiter is already pretty big, so it's not even going to take that much to turn it into a star. There we go, it's already a star. Saturn, let's give Saturn its rings still. So we'll make Saturn a star and then we're gonna add its rings on it too. You can see the blueness of the surface. That's still from Venus. That's Venus's light. We made it so hot. There goes Saturn as a star and then let's add Saturn's rings to it. Perfect, look at that. I bet if we play something will happen to them. Oh, they actually look not too bad. Okay, Saturn as a star with its rings. Let's add Uranus and we're gonna make it that blue color for Uranus. Okay, Uranus is blue like this, like this light blue. So we're gonna try to copy that on this star. We'll make it a star and then go to visuals and change it to that light blue color. It like wants to be green, but what if I don't want you to be green? It won't let me because it's trying to mix it with the, the red. I guess it'll have to be like a greener color or unless we do that. That kind of looks cool actually. Okay, there's Uranus, and let's add Uranus's rings. Okay, there we go. Put Uranus's rings on here. There we go. Okay, Uranus is a star. It's like a dark star. I kind of like it. And the last planet, Neptune. Let's just make this one big. Boom. And since Neptune is like super cold, let's just leave it a dark star, because why not? And just because I feel bad, we'll make Pluto a star too. Don't even worry. Everybody loves Pluto. Boom, there's Pluto. It's still getting light out here from Venus. That's crazy. Boom, Pluto. Let's make Pluto shine brighter than any of the other ones because we love Pluto. Okay, Pluto is now the brightest one in the entire system. All right, so here's every single planet as a star now. 
And if you'd like this system, the link will be in the description to download it. All right, now we got a suggestion to place a black hole in our system. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Let's put a, which black hole should we put? We can put, okay, Sagittarius A is the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. And it doesn't look that big, like it is very big, but it doesn't look super huge, even though it is a super massive black hole. So let's pause time, put it right in the middle next to the sun. So the sun's actually inside it right now, um, but you can still kind of see it. And let's just play. Okay, let's set it to, I don't know, one hour every second and see how fast it eats everything. Go. That's one hour every second. So that's pretty quick. I th okay, like, let's see how fast this is moving. 30% the speed of light. Okay, what about like Pluto? Let's see how fast we can get Pluto to go. Speed up time. I wonder if the game will let stuff go faster than light. Because Pluto right now is going right before it goes in. How fast is it going? About 20% the speed of light. Once things are about to go in is when they're going the fastest. So let's get something that like is about to go in right here. 25% the speed of light. So it looks like it, they're not getting stuff to go the speed of light, just pretty close to it. So yeah, uh, pretty quickly it eats everything. So that's what happens if you put Sagittarius A in the solar system. All right, we got another suggestion to combine the Earth and the moon. So we're going to launch the moon into Earth and see what happens. Slow down time here. Okay, so here's the Earth and here's the moon. So let's just set the velocity of the moon to zero and then see if it crashes into Earth. Speed zero. I don't know if it will. Oh, it looks like it's coming. Oh, it totally will. Okay, so this is what would happen if the moon just suddenly lost all of its speed. It would crash into the Earth. Oh, it's coming. It's going to hit Africa. Okay, coming right into Africa. Oh, that's pretty big. Boom. Okay. Bunch of rock particles launch out and the entire earth gets covered in this giant shockwave. Looks like it would burn every single person. So everyone would die. You would die and speed up time. And a lot of these rocks are going to come back down and crash again, causing even more destruction. This is all like dust clouds and gas. Okay. So that's what happens if you combine the earth and the moon. Let's see how earth ends up after all this. So it looks like we got new continents. There's a super continent Pangea here type thing and then a smaller continent right here um and let's wait for it to cool down like a good amount and let's see its chance of life after this 85 percent. you could see it's still going up so it would probably kill all life but then new life would develop after and we would have no moon so that'd mean no tides all right that's what happens if we combine the moon and the earth vexter 96 from my discord says explode a black hole let's actually okay we're gonna turn the sun into a black hole and then explode it so if we lock the mass, but then turn the radius down enough, we're gonna crush it into a black hole. Okay, sun is now a black hole with the same mass as it had before. Um, so the planets will actually stay in orbit, but they won't have any more heating. And okay, now we're gonna go to tools and explode. Let's slow down time, cause it's going, it's going pretty quick. And we're just gonna click on it and it will explode. Oh, go supernova. Supernova going out extends throughout the entire solar system. It looks like it's gonna go, yeah, completely engulfs the solar system. All the planets burn to death. All of the inner planets are already dead. Pluto survives, go Pluto, somehow. Let's speed up time and see how Pluto ends up. So all of these planets are gonna turn into rogue planets. There's gonna be no nothing holding them. So they're all just gonna fly out in their own directions and be completely alone in the universe. Pluto will just freeze over and it looks like it does survive though. Alex's thing says, give Earth more moons. Okay, so let's go to the Earth and if we wanna give it more moons, what we can actually do is add a ring and do a moon sphere. Moon sphere right here. So this will add, let's pause it, moons all the way around, over a hundred moons. I don't even see, 150 maybe? I don't see any above that. So let's unpause time now and see what's gonna happen. This is a lot of moons for the Earth. Oh, it looks like it's going okay right now. Um, it looks like some are gonna crash into each other. Let's see. Oh, they're gonna all like condense into the same plane? Oh, that's not good. Crash, tons of them just crashed. Bunch of them hit the Earth, the Earth is dead. Let's see what happens. Earth gets hit, bombarded by all these moons. Looks like some of them are gonna go into orbit, some of them escape. So let's turn on the orbit lines and we'll see how, <laughs> look at these orbits. So a lot of them actually are still in orbit and Earth looks like it will survive after a long time. 
um, with, again, new continents. Oh, it looks like it got spun so fast that the centrifugal force pushed the water to this ring state. So it's going to be like desert at the top and bottom. And then all the water is going to be at the equator. That's pretty cool. Seek says, can you make life on Venus? Let's try it. Okay, here's Venus. Um, so the thing with Venus is it is just super, super thick atmosphere that it burns anything. So let's start by making the atmosphere not as thick. So we're going to turn down this atmosphere layers just to one because Earth's only at one. And then also make the atmosphere not as thick. So you can actually start to see the surface. And then we're going to add some water to it. Perfect. And add some vegetation too, like that. Perfect. Okay, Venus, and let's check its habitability rating. And yes, that gives us 85.9% chance of life on Venus. So v Venus would definitely have a good chance of developing life now. Epic Gamer says, make the planet J1407b Super Saturn. So if you didn't see my Space Engine video, um, I went to this planet in Space Engine and it has the biggest rings in the universe that we've discovered. So let's make it. So let's start by searching J1407. And this will give us the star. This is the actual star. And here is the planet. Um, so let's put the planet, I don't know, a good ways from the star. And the planet is actually so massive that it starts to heat itself up. So I'm just gonna pause it so it doesn't do that. So to make it have its rings, we're going to start by putting this ring here and then let's adjust it. So the rings actually go out 180 million kilometers. So we're gonna switch this to kilometers and we're gonna type 180 million. 180, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. Here we go, let's add the rings. Boom, okay, it's starting to lag. But here's how big the rings are, which is crazy. Oh, it's like five frames per second. This is how big the rings are. Let's play and see what happens. How fast can we run it? Oh, we can't run the simulation fast at all. But there we go. That's J1407B in Universe Sandbox. That's how big the rings are. We got a suggestion to make Pluto orbit the moon. I don't know if that's possible, but let's try. All right, so here's the moon orbiting Earth. And we're going to try to make Pluto orbit this. We might have to make it really small. Okay, here's Pluto. You can see that they're pretty close in size. The moon is actually slightly bigger. So let's add this here. And if we just play, let's see what happens. Oh, no way. Does it work? It looks like it's pulling Earth a little bit. But Pluto is now orbiting the moon. And this is surprisingly way more stable than I thought it was going to be. Like you can see the moon's orbit is getting altered by Pluto um, enacting tidal forces on it. But this kind of works. This works way better than I thought it would. Let's just speed up time really fast and see what happens eventually. Is this going to work forever? This is as fast as it'll let me run the simulation. But it's been going for a couple years now and it seems like it works. So that, that was a good suggestion. I didn't think it would work. Username Taken says, get rid of all of Earth's water, then hit it with a meteor containing all of Earth's water. That's a good one. Okay, so step one to this plan, we're going to take off all of Earth's water. Oh, Earth is now completely dry. Let's actually even get rid of the ice too. Okay, Earth has zero water now. And then we're going to get an asteroid, launch it at the Earth, and then adjust this asteroid to have the same mass as the entirety of Earth's ocean. So you can see Earth's ocean mass right here. So we're gonna set it to one. Okay, this has the same mass as Earth's ocean. And then we need to set it to 100% water. So this is all of Earth's water in one single ball right here. So let's crash it into the Earth and see what's gonna happen. See if it'll replenish the water. You can see some of the water is getting ejected and pulled by the Earth, it looks like. But we'll see what happens here. Crash. Okay, crash into it. You can see the water starting to come onto the surface. Some fragments coming down. Okay, now let's just speed up the time and wait for it to cool down and see how it looks. No way, did it work? Okay, it's been about a year, I think, since the crash. Let's see how it looks. Um, it looks like the water's uneven and there's not enough to cover the whole planet. It looks like half of it's flooded and half of it is still dry. Um, so let's actually go into the settings and click settle water. Settle water. And oh my gosh, it looks like it works. It works pretty well. All of the vegetation's dead because we killed everything. But look at that. The water almost perfectly rewent exactly where it was. So let's re-add vegetation. 
and you wouldn't even be able to tell. I could t say this is normal earth and you would believe me. That's crazy. That was a great suggestion. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave your suggestions for more things to do in the comments below. Thank you to my patron board. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.